Hi there, my name is Frax Real, and I am here to answer some questions that some of you asked online on my Instagram. And so, here it is. Um, the first question that I got when I asked on my story was, when did you start practicing your music and was it hard to learn the metal scream? Blah. <laughs> so, um, I started uh, practicing music when I think I was about 15. The first instrument I learned was actually the bass guitar and um how i kind of got into learning that was you know i went to a concert that was really cool for me i grew up in a very christian household and so um one of the bands i was into that was christian but also happened to have distorted a guitar and was fine to listen to was skillet and um went to one of their shows and i loved it it was great it was awesome and that kind of introduced me and kind of got me like, I think I really want to like learn an instrument. And so I learned bass. And as far as how long it took to learn metal screaming, or specifically, was it hard? Yes, it was. It was very difficult. It was a lot of trial and error and trying to, you know, just find what worked for me and, you know, what, what sounded cool, what didn't sound so cool, what works and what doesn't work. Just, you know, finding my own sound, and that takes that took a lot of time. Um, so yeah. Next question is, what is the, the song you're most proud of? Um, as of right now, it's probably a toss-up between Heartburn or Pressure. I feel like I'm probably more so proud of Pressure because, I don't know, I think that was the first song where I could listen back to and be like, okay, I actually like my vocals here, because, you know, I, I, I've kind of over the time of learning to sing um, alongside screaming, uh, you know, I've had to figure out my range and what, you know, works for my voice and what I can do and, you know, what I'm not as capable of. And I, I don't know, that chorus just clicks with me. It clicks with me. And I was like, okay, when I, when I was writing, I was like, this is, I think this is, you know, one of the first songs that I can listen back and be like, yeah, okay, that that's, that's where my voice sounds good and I like it and that's kind of the sound I'm going for um, and uh, when you decided to become a singer who was your biggest supporter um, I uh, when I decided to become a singer specifically when I when I first started because that was the first thing I actually you know even tried I wasn't even that good of a singer when I was learning to scream um, the person I feel like that was by far the most supportive was my dad he was very supportive of like just you know what I wanted to do and what you know what music I wanted to make and just all of that and um, you know despite being a very different genre from what he was into he was a country guy he was a country guy you know he played in many bands and had his own studio and everything and he um, didn't really get the entire screaming thing <laughs> he really didn't you know, bands like Slipknot were like, you know, just noise to him. So you can imagine, you know, how appreciative it was that he was pretty supportive of like me learning to scream and how awesome that was for me. You know, he bagged on me, of course, you know, as like any dad does, he bagged on me for, you know, being screamed, but you know, we left it off and it was all good. So yeah. What program are you using? I am using Studio One. Um, that is the program I've been using for many years now, and it works great. I've tried other software such as Cubase, um, Ableton, and I don't know. Studio One just works for what I need. I think at the end of the day, all DAWs work the same. They can all get the job done. It's more dependent on the type of producer you are. So, yeah, Studio One. Would you try a glimpse in a new genre, heart style? Well, probably not hard style, but to bounce off that question, um, I, I'm totally down to do any genre if the inspiration strikes. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think of Frax Real as being, you know, as of right now, it's probably more so like, you know, a hardcore, you know, metalcore project. I, I'm down to dabble in any genre if, you know, I have the inspiration for it or, you know, the drive for it. You know, I feel like every song I write is always based on how I feel in the moment. I think that's when, you know, you are writing your best material is when you're writing from the heart instead of just, you know, trying to force a sound out. Um, in fact, I mean, most of the artists and bands I listen to outside of, you know, 
joke that I make is, you know, is like uh, Lana Del Rey, The Neighborhood, um, Billie Eilish, The Weeknd. I listen to a lot of like more alternative pop stuff. Um, you know, I just got to keep it kind of different from what I'm making because going from writing and recording, you know, breakdowns for hours to listening to more of that outside of it is just kind of headache inducing. So <laughs> half the time when I'm like driving, I'm listening to music, I actually skip past a lot of those bands and try to, you know, stick to just what I'm actually enjoying. And, but that also helps with my music writing. Cause usually I, I crack out some, some stuff that's really unique. And last question, give us the hair secrets. Um, I'm very sorry to break it to you, but there really isn't much of a secret. I, <laughs> I just use conditioner and some basic shampoo. I think that you can get at Ulta Beauty and, um, yeah. And the rest of it is just kind of just water, just let it air dry and comes out like this. It's all genetics, really. I mean, I just I was blessed with genetics. So thank you, mom and dad. <laughs>